Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new uh, Ubisoft game Hyperscape. We will start uh, with some optimization in Windows and after that I will show you what is like the best parameter to use, the best settings for uh, on PC for this game. So let's start. First of all, write game mode in your Windows, open the game mode, make sure that game mode is at off. Uh, it's causing stuttering and you're losing FPS with this, so really important to put this one at off. Xbox game bar at off, really important. And the last one, all those capture from Windows, so background recording at off, recorded audio at off. Other tips that I can t tell you is remove all the overlay that you're currently using. So if you have the overlay from Discord, removing it. Uh, remove the overlay from uh, Nvidia, whatever that overlay that you're using just remove them it's causing normally like you will have soldering you will lose fps because of them uh, another thing that is really important make sure that you're doing your uh driver update for your video card so if you have nvidia amd even intel if you have like uh, an integrated gpu on your uh, processor really imp important to do it because big game like that uh, AAA games from big company like ubisoft ea or whatever they always work with the the graphic uh the graphic companies like AMD, Intel, or NVIDIA, and uh, they will like push patches, and you, you will uh, have more FPS when you have the latest driver, really important. One more thing, the GPU scheduling. So you can right here, GPU, and open the graphic setting. Uh, this option is uh, available to all the people who did the, op the uh, upgrade of Windows 10, the new version, the 2004 one. Um, you have a new uh, option, I have a dedicated video on it, I, and I'm ex explaining all those features in this uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. But the thing that you need to know is you're getting more FPS with it. So you need to put uh, this option at on and restart your computer uh, if you want to use it. And it will help you uh, a little bit, like 2 to 3% in your FPS. To make sure you have that, first of all, you need to update your Windows. Second of all, you need the latest driver from NVIDIA. And uh, it's not it's not uh, on the AMD car right now. They will probably like update their driver probably this week or ne next week maybe. Uh, but uh, you will probably have it like really soon. So that's about it for Windows. Now let's go in uh, the game. So now inside of the game, display mode, make sure that you're playing full screen, you will lose FPS if you're using window mode or borderless, so really important. Resolution, normally just use the resolution that you normally choose. After uh, all my guide, if you still don't get your 60, you will probably need to lower your resolution. Refresh rate, really important to match your monitor. Uh, it was weird for me by default, it was at 60 Hz. So really important if you have an high refresh monitor, uh, make sure that you're using the proper Earths over there. VSync, I'm not using it. I put it at off because it will cause uh, input lag. Aspect ratio, I'm just using auto, so it's 16 by 9. Those parameters are not very important. So let's start with animation quality. I'm going at, with ultra low. You're, you will gain 2% for each bracket, so this one really important. A nice boost over there. Anti-aliasing, I'm removing it from the game. First of all, I don't like the anti-aliasing in the game. I feel like the game is blurry, so that's why I'm putting it at none. And also, you will gain a nice boost in your FPS, like 5%. So, uh, yeah, just use none for this one. Atmospheric quality, this one is really important with shadow. Uh, huge impact on your FPS. It's pretty much like 3% for each bracket. So, a nice gain if you put this one at very low. Resolution scaling, this one is a bit tricky, they're uh, proposing uh, something different here, dynamic. So for example, if you're putting 25% to 100, uh, it will look your frame rate and uh, it will try to match your frame rate here. So the thing is, your resolution will downscale to make sure that you're getting your uh, 144 FPS, for example. I don't like this effect because I don't want, to, I don't want my game to change when I'm playing and see like... Uh, Oh, now I'm at like at 70% of my resolution. Now I'm at 100. Uh, you should definitely play this game at fixed 100%. You just want to use the resolution that you put over there. And if you don't like your FPS that you currently have, you're still getting like stutter, lag and stuff like that. Just lower your resolution over there. Go with 720p and it will be a lot better. You don't want like some random dynamic change when you're playing a competitive game like that. After that, geometry quality, this one I'm putting at ultra low, 2% for each bracket, so that's pretty much it. 
frame rate quality i'm just putting at 144 but also you can do the match monitor if you don't want to choose that lighting quality if you're getting some random drop when you're fighting because a lot of different light effect in this game it's probably because of the lighting quality so just go with low uh shadow quality this one is really important three to four percent for each bracket so this one i'm putting it also at ultra low sharpness i'm not touching it sound quality this really depends on your cpu so if you have like a very old computer or you're playing a laptop with just like two core uh, <laughs> honestly just tested it I, I did a test on an, an old laptop and i did like ultra low and i was getting like 10 fps so this one can improve a lot if you have a bad cpu Texture quality, this one is depending on your VRAM. So if you have like 4 gig and more, honestly, very high and ultra high, you should be good. 3 gig, high or medium. 2 gig, low or very low. And less than 2 gig, go with ultra low. And the last one is VFX quality. So all those post effects and distance quality, I'm putting at ultra low. So that's pretty much all the parameter that I'm currently using. It's not the, normally when you play a competitive game also you don't necessarily want all those effects and stuff like that. It's more like the best setting to have the great performance and a great the visibility when you're playing the game. You don't want like some crazy post effect and everything is blurry. So this is pretty much what you need to use to play this game. So if you have any question guys just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!